Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a song called You and I by Avalanche City. I saw Avalanche City play in 2011. It was at an event for the final of the Rugby World Cup on Queen's Wharf here in Auckland. And I thought they were great. When I say they, Avalanche City is actually just one person, Dave Baxter. But he has a band with him when he plays live. You and I is a great song for studying the conditional tense. It's a love song, very sweet and romantic. He's telling a girl all the things he would do for her. And the structure is usually if plus past tense, I would. For example, if you found your toothpaste empty, I would squeeze out just a little more. And if you had the sweetest victory, I'd high-five you till our hands were sore. Till is short for until. It can be spelt like this, or this, or this. It's very common to say till instead of until. For example, I had to work till nine last night. But you don't tend to shorten until if you're using it at the start of a sentence. For example, until last year I'd never lived alone. Kia ora, in Stick News today, the FIFA Under-20 World Cup is being held in New Zealand for the first time. FIFA is an international body responsible for organising football's major international tournaments, including the World Cup. In March 2011, FIFA announced the Under-20 World Cup would be held in New Zealand. The games are being played in seven cities in New Zealand, from the 30th of May to the 20th of June. The final will be held at North Harbour Stadium in Auckland. And that was Stick News for Friday the 29th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is fine. Fine can mean many different things. If the weather is bright and clear, you can say it's a fine day. If someone asks you if you're still feeling sick and you've recovered, you could say, I feel fine now. If someone refuses to do something and you're annoyed, you could say, fine, I'll do it myself then. Fine can also mean of very high quality. For example, fine dining restaurants have better quality food than regular restaurants or fast food restaurants. This is from today's song. If we climbed the highest treetop and you said you couldn't climb back down, well, I would build the finest treehouse for our new life above the ground. So romantic. When he says the finest treehouse, he's talking about quality. So he means he'll build a very high quality treehouse. I remember the last thing my grandpa said to me before he kicked the bucket. What did he say? He said, Hey, how far do you think I can kick this bucket? Was that the first time you'd heard of Avalanche City? Yeah. Which hall was it? Where's that? Why did he record in a hall? At the World Cup event? No, I'm pretty sure I'd heard of them before that. Yeah, I remember hearing an interview with Dave Baxter talking about how he'd recorded his album in a hall. It was in Walkworth, I think. It's a small town, about an hour north of Auckland. It might have been something to do with the sound. I can't quite remember. If you had an empty suitcase, Avalanche City would A. Help you pack it tight B. Help you sell it on Trade Me Help you pack it tight. If you were a supermodel, 
Avalanche City would A. Help you do your makeup, B. Help you lift your bags. Help you lift your bags. If you found your toothpaste empty, Avalanche City would A. Buy you some more toothpaste, B. Squeeze out just a little more. Squeeze out just a little more. If you had the sweetest victory, Avalanche City would A. High five you till your hands were sore, B. Take you out to dinner. High five you till your hands were sore. If you were addicted to fabric, Avalanche City would A. Let you fill a whole room, B. Take you to a doctor. Let you fill a whole room. And that was The Daily English Show. We have a channel on YouTube where we upload the Friday joke videos. So if you want to watch the jokes again or if you want to share the videos, please go and check out our Friday joke channel on YouTube. And if you go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash Friday joke, you'll find all the jokes there too. See you tomorrow. Bye.